how to buy a house with no money or job. I know, I know, Noelle sounds crazy telling you that you can buy a house with no money or a job, and that is absolutely true. I've done it, other students have done it, and I'm gonna tell you how you can do it too. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that, yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that, let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you a detailed step-by-step -step process on how you can buy a home with no money or job legally and ethically. I'm gonna share with you the biggest trap to avoid so that you don't get messed up while you're trying to do this. And I'm gonna share with you a sneaky little way to end up with a nice house with no money or job. There are so many benefits to owning a home and you want to become a homeowner. I own dozens of properties and I absolutely love it. It's changed my life and is the business that I enjoy doing. I'm literally inside of one of my Airbnbs right now in Florida and I love doing this. But it all started with buying properties. I started from my parents' basement and now I am a wealthy millionaire. I have lots of properties. I have a great net worth. I'm able to pass these properties down to my kids or my grandkids and I've been able to leverage my properties to buy more properties and get income and cash flow in the process. I could go on and on about all of the benefits of owning real estate, but they are just too numerous. Real estate is still the number one way to wealth. 89% of all millionaires have been created so through real estate and that was true 100 years ago and it's still true today. So you are definitely on the right track getting into real estate. So let's talk about how you do it with no money or job. So the secret sauce to getting all of this done is a concept in real estate we call subject to. Subject to has been life changing for me and it was one of the things that has catapulted my net worth. When I found out that I could buy properties for pennies on the dollars, I was able to get more houses than I could even keep. <laughs> It has been the funnest thing in the world and this is how you can get it done. So let me tell you. Subject to is a concept where you are buying a property from someone and you are leaving the mortgage in place. Essentially, you buy the home subject to the existing financing staying in place. Meaning I am buying this home subject to, again, with the condition of you leaving the current mortgage in place. Now, you usually have to take over those payments and you and the seller can write up a different agreement, but the deed and the title and all of that is in your name. I've closed on property subject to, and it has been life-changing for me. In fact, I was able to even get properties for just a few thousand dollars, and I'm gonna explain to you how you do that. Just wanted to make sure you understood the concept. So like I said, buying a home subject to is very simple. It's just like buying a home, but you leave the current mortgage in place. So let me tell you about the traditional home buying process. When you usually buy a home, you usually have to get financing, meaning you have to get your own mortgage. You'll have to get qualified from a mortgage lender. You have to show them your income, your assets, your employment, your credit, and they have to qualify that you can pay for that mortgage. And many of you guys already know, getting qualified for a mortgage can be daunting. And in some cases, most people get declined. It really does depend on your situation. But if you have a situation where you don't have a job and you don't have very much money, most likely you're not gonna be able to buy a home the traditional way unless you can buy it cash, which is not really a smart idea, just being honest with you. But anyway, the traditional home buying process is very daunting. So if you have a situation where you don't have stellar credit or you don't have income that's stable and continuing, you're probably not going to get improved. However, if you do subject to, you don't have to worry about that. So let me give you all of the details now that you understand what subject to is and why you don't want to go through the traditional home buying process. So now that you understand subject to, I know you're probably thinking, Noel, why would anyone sell me their house and leave the mortgage in place? That sounds super risky for them. That sounds like they wouldn't do it. Those are some of the comments that I get. But let me give you the answer because it's a very simple one. You need to find someone that is having financial distress. Financial distress opens people's minds. Just being honest with you, if someone is past due on their mortgage or they, are, they lost their job and so they lost their income and they're not going to be able to pay for that home, 
that creates a situation where they're going to be looking for a solution. Most people do not want to go through the foreclosure process. Most people do not want to try to sell a home that needs repairs and then fix the house up and then try to sell it. Most people do not want to do this. So if they're having a situation where they are in some type of financial distress, such as foreclosure, job relocation, divorce, bankruptcy, someone got sick, you know, I can go on and on about all of the ways that I've done subject twos, but the bottom line is you need to market to people that are having an issue with their mortgage. These are the people that are going to be very open to you taking over that mortgage payment for them, especially if you can write a contract like Noel does where you specify how long you will have that mortgage in their name and you have a situation where you know you are fixing your credit or you know you will have the money later or you even could refinance it now but you want to start making money on it, this is the perfect opportunity for subject to. There's millions of mortgages currently in default right now in the United States. This is the perfect opportunity to start marketing to those people and get a property subject to where they're not going to require you to have money or a job. Well, they may need you to have some money to catch those mortgage payments up. So let me tell you how you get the money because I've already told you, you don't need a job. You're not assuming the mortgage. You're not going to call the mortgage company. You're buying the home subject too. So the fact that you don't have a job is not a big deal, but you're going to need a little money if their payments are past due. So let me tell you how to get the money. So in a situation with subject two, when you are not involving a bank, you can borrow the money. Essentially, you could have a line of credit. You could have a credit card. You could have your friend, your mom, your dad, whoever give you the money in order to buy that home. So long as you're able to take over those payments and move into that home or turn it into a rental property, you will be okay. You don't want to put the person that is currently in a financial situation in a worse financial situation. You need to be someone that can take over that mortgage or be connected to someone that's going to take over that property and that can handle that mortgage. Again, very easy to find. It depends on what you want to do. But if you need the money for to catch the mortgage payments up, for example, giving you an example of someone that's three months behind on their payment. This is a super easy way to start getting property subject to targeting people that are behind on their mortgage payment. You send out some letters or you put out signs that say behind on your mortgage payments. We can help. They will call you and then you're going to need the money to catch that mortgage payment up and to be able to continue on the mortgage. That's really all you need. So if they're just behind three, four months and you just need five or $6,000, I've been able to get properties just for that amount and you can too. So I have created an entire book teaching you all of this and I'm going to give it to you absolutely free. I have a book called Real Estate Millionaire Secrets. I have poured my heart into this book teaching you everything that I did to take me from my parents' basement to a multimillionaire in real estate. I found ways to buy houses with almost no money, ways that I've teaching you, and I have a whole book where I break it down and I even give you some checklists and worksheets and things like that so you can implement it. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Visit Noelle's free book, that's Noelle, N-O-E-L-L-E-S, noellesfreebook.com and check it out. I wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the knowledge, and all of the tools that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.